Hello, everyone. We're here in Southwest University Park, uh, El Paso. You know, important guest here, Diego Luna. Welcome, Diego. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yes. Uh, you know, this is one of our uh, uh, extra time interviews for the Striker Texas on the Striker Texas. So, Diego, you know, somebody might be watching us now. Did I did I see it right? Seventeen year old professional player. Is that it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Um, my name is Diego Luna, 17 years old, and I'm from uh, Northern California. Yeah. yeah. And, and tell me a little bit, Diego, you know, how was the process? You know, you, you started on an MLS Academy, uh, went to the Barcelona Academy yeah. in, in Phoenix, and we can touch a little bit about that. But let's start with the MLS Academy. Yeah. You know, I, I called them yesterday and got all good references yeah. about, about you. How was your experience there? It was a great experience, you know, coming from, you know, Playing with club soccer as my first, you know, step, and then moving into that that MLS academy was was an amazing feeling. You know, I, I played two years there, and it, it turned me into the player. You know, I developed very well and everything, and and it was a great experience. And then you make the decision. You know, most kids, and I'm I'm sorry, calling you kids, especially yeah. at that time. I think you were a kid, yeah, um, more more than than any moment, but. I think the dream of any kid on any MLS market is to be on that MLS yeah. roster, even if it's in the academy. Yeah. And you decide to leave and to go to a offshore yeah. academy in Phoenix for for Barcelona. What was that made made you make that call? Yeah, no, it was a very difficult decision in my in my career in my youth career, and I think it was a, a decision based on you know my mindset and stuff. My I thought my goals you know were greater. You know, I wanted to. I felt like I wasn't ready at that time, and I felt like I wasn't developing at that time anymore. So it was a it was a step where I had to make a decision for the for my future career and everything. So I, I made that step and and left home and went out to try something new, and it, it paid off. Tell me about that experience in Barcelona, right? Uh, uh, there's a lot of kids that are doing that process yeah. using that academy. It's it's I think it's becoming stronger and yeah. stronger every every year. Yeah. How was that experience? There? I think that academy is probably the best in the country by by far, and you know it's a it's a it's an academy where it's soccer. It's soccer. Your life is soccer. You go there, and it's one goal and one you know one dream. You go live in the middle of nowhere. You leave your family at a young age, and it's that's that's what you do. You you risk all those things just because of your dream and your you what you want to do in the future, and what they do there and what they teach, how they teach. You know, from physically, tactically, mentally, everything there is is, is a big. Uh, Big step, and then from there you you make this 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 jump right. Give up on on, on college, and and I want to touch about that with that a, a little bit later. But you you leave that opportunity and and come play for a USL franchise, right? Um, one of the best by 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 many people would say that, and and you decide to 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 skip that opportunity of maybe going to college or even maybe making yeah, to MLS yeah. directly. What was the, the thought process coming to El Paso? Definitely, I've got, I've got asked that question a lot, you know, and it was something that, it was a big decision, of course, with my family, with, with everyone behind me, agents, everything. And it was a decision that was based, you know, what the best for me is at that moment and what the best is for me in the future. You know, of course, I don't want to end my career here in the USL or, you know, this is, I'm using this as like a, a stepping stone and giving it my all while I'm here. And of course, my, my dreams are to play overseas or in the MLS or in Mexico. But of course, using this as a as a as a big step is helping me, and it's very helping me on a daily basis. Coming out here and playing with you know men, guys that have have experienced pros and, and stuff like that every day, training with them, and then getting professional minutes out on the field against other great great players. Talking about that future that 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 you just said, you no, know, maybe overseas or MLS or uh, if you had to choose that place to be few years yeah. from now what is that main goal that you have with a a, a, a reality in place right saying hey yeah. you know how much you can yeah. what what you can do yeah. what you can accomplish where where is that place that you're going to be very happy if you get to that i want to be playing in one of the top divisions in in europe you know in the in the first divisions and and i think that's my my number one goal and of course i'm 17 there's i have you know a couple more years to make that step you know and i think that's my number one goal whether it be in in belgium whether it be in you know Switzerland, uh, Portugal, something like that. I want to play in a first division where, you know, you, you know, you've made it and, and it's like a, a very good, you know, competitive, you know, environment. Um, to get there to that point, you know, 
talking to your family, to the people that you know. I'm, yeah. I'm sure you know people here in El Paso yeah. is supporting you because they also want you to yeah. make that 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 that's that the next step. What is the next step that you think? Do you think your next step is MLS? Or your next step is Mexico, like you said. And 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 what would you prefer if you had if you could choose? Of course. So yeah, that's you know I, I like to think you know one day at a time, right? And it's not really. Of course, I have my dreams and aspirations and everything like that. But right now, I'm here in El Paso, and I'm every day I'm giving it my all here for El Paso and playing. You know, like right now, my focus is tomorrow night and to give my best and you know have my team win. You know. So that's that's what I'm focusing on. But of course, you know, in the future, you you like to think. But wherever, you know, it end up, and however I keep performing, and you know, whatever happens, happens. Cool. Uh, talking about the moment now, right? Uh, you come in, 17 year old, to a one of the strongest teams in the league, uh, and in your first season, you you already make your space, yeah. right? It's it's you you have had amazing games, you know. Uh, uh not just the goal but the assists and the way you're playing overall on, on, on the games i uh, we have a podcast uh yeah. that, that that they were talking here and all the strike attacks where we have everybody from from each one of the usl markets and we talk about it and i was praising so much your assist in in south lake yeah. uh, a few weeks ago and 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 how very few people would try to do that yeah. play so um and 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 Joe Rodriguez, who is our r reporter here in El Paso, we always ask him, hey, when is he going to show his kid's side on, on the field? And you're not showing that. Yeah. Where does that come, that whole maturity that you have at this point? Yeah, I think that comes from my whole youth career. I have always played up in my, in, in my youth career. I've never played my age. So I think always going into games, maybe not being the fastest, the strongest, you have to learn things, learn how to play, learn how to, you know, play different ways and different roles, different situations. And I think the maturity comes from just always playing at a, a against older kids, playing with older kids. And then also like that, that maturity of leaving home at such a young age. I think it was more of a, you had to, to mature at a young age before moving. You know, it was, it was a thing where on the, off the field and on the field, you know, doing chores, doing stuff on your own like that is it really like it transfers onto the field. And I think that's where the maturity came from. And, and, You're talking about that, you know, I, I usually say that one of the challenges that the U.S. have, yeah. you know, you played for the U.S. national team, yeah. the, uh, the U youth national team wins, beats everybody, yeah. right? And when we get to the senior, we, we struggle. Right. I always I always blame the NCAA yeah. pro project right. for, for that. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of what you're saying also with this abroad, the kids, They leave their family yeah. when they're 10, 11, yeah. 12 to, to pursue the yeah. professional. Here in the U.S., that doesn't happen doesn't that much, happen. right? Yeah. Uh, it's interesting, that, that that point of view. Going back to El Paso here, uh, you come in your first day of preseason, yeah. uh, a lot of older guys, mm -hmm. right? You have people in their 30s, yeah. uh, uh, 20s, and, and, and you're 17. How was the welcome on, on, on the team? That was something that made my decision a lot easier than, than people would think. The as soon as I came in here, I, I felt it right away. You know, the the different, you know, ethnicities, the different nationalities, the different languages that we speak in the locker room and everything like that. Just everyone, no matter where you're from, you know, stuff like that, that everyone just, you know, how do you say it? They come together and it's like a big family basically. And me coming in here as a 17 year old, they welcome me with as if I was just another player already on the team and, and no, no hesitation. And of course they have moments where they treat me like a 17 year old, you know, little jokes and stuff like that. But when I'm on the field, it's, it's maturity and, and everything like that. It's, it's yeah. awesome. When, when I was, I was the GM for the Austin Bowl yeah. for the first, first, first year of the franchise. And we had a couple of young guys yeah. and something that was something that we wanted to do with the team. And it became actually natural yeah. moving forward was we had some of the older guys mm -hmm. almost, being a godfather for the yeah. young ones. Is there somebody on the on the team that it, it, really somebody that you've been looking after or, or that's been looking after yeah. you? Is, 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 did you create that connection of with course. somebody? There's there's some players like Yuma and Richie and Meshack, you know, some of the, the older guys that have helped me and, you know, guided me, you know, giving me, you know, advice when I need it and, you know, and also, you know, give me pros and cons to every situation. They always help me out. And I think those three players have helped me the most. But I think everyone here, everyone being older than me, has experienced things that I haven't. So I think that everyone gives give me a little, you know, a piece of everything. 
when I need it. Cool. Uh, you know, we, we already we already talked about, you know, uh, the things that you gave up. And uh, I, I have a daughter that, yeah. that competes in gymnastics mm-hmm. and, and she's 12 yeah. and, 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 and has given up already a lot yeah. for that. Now, when you see your friends that you were growing up yeah. with and, and they're doing all these different things that you don't have the opportunity yeah. to do, how does that feel? I get that, you know, question a lot, especially from, you know, other friends and family, you know, people that, that, you know, just start to get to know me and stuff. And to me, and to be completely honest, there's, you know, I don't feel like, I don't feel like I'm missing out on anything. Cause I felt like ever since I was, I was young, that this was my, my dream, my goal. And I think, you know, I, and I haven't reached my, my full, you know, dream and, and what I want to accomplish in my life. So I think it's just, it's, I think people have different mindsets and stuff like that. So people may think, you know, I'm missing out on things, but I think I'm I'm doing everything I want and at that time and that, that through my whole career. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and 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 that experience about being away from the family, you know, um, that's hard for for anybody. You know, even older people. Of course. Uh, uh, how is that? Yeah. So I moved away when I was 15. That's when I went out to the Barca Academy. And that first year was definitely the hardest year of my life, whether even if it was living with with roommates or having someone there still, you know, helping me through things, but not having my, you know, my parents, my siblings, you know, your dog, stuff like that. It's, it's a very, it's a very hard thing to go through. But I think as, as the year, as the years went on and, and every day it got better because I would focus and start to, you know, ch- that's what made me, you know, become so mature at a young age is, I had to do all this stuff because of my dream and what I wanted to accomplish. And I started thinking that on a daily basis and it helped me, you know, push through every day. Very cool, man. Yeah. Uh, Diego Luna, El Paso Locomotive, a 17 year old, you know, you're, you're, you're doing, doing great, man. Uh, awesome. I enjoy a lot watching you, awesome. you play and you're listening and, and watching uh, extra time for the striker Tejas. Um, subscribe, help us, you know, uh, support uh, local soccer. Uh, this is what we're here for to showcase, you know, um, people like players like 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 Luna. Luna, thank you very much. Good First. luck. Uh, anything for us to finish here? Anything that you would like to say for you know the locals out there yeah. and and for everybody else in the whole state that that could be watching us uh, about about you or your life? No, or... just, yeah, thank you for having me. Of course, first of all. And it was it was a fun little interview and stuff, but yeah, I just want to thank everyone you know that gives me you know support from from El Paso and coming into the community. It wasn't only just the team, but it was the whole community that that made me feel comfortable and everything. All the fans, everyone that I you know being recognized on the streets is just nice people, you know. And I really appreciate that. And it made me feel very welcome. And come support the locos. That's it. Uh, from El Paso Southwestern University, uh, this is the Striker Tejas.